Yo, what's up everyone? This is CryptoBox with another video. We create videos about blockchain games, NFTs, and more. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you don't miss big opportunities. So in today's video, we have a video about a metaverse, a new metaverse that is, you know, upcoming and looks great so far. Uh, you can see already it's on the Ethereum blockchain and the Binance Smart Chain. So it's already, you know, compatible with two blockchains. Uh, it's got a market cap of 4.2 million, uh, which is really low. So that can easily, easily 10x, and then uh, 100x if possible. You know, it's it's not guaranteed. It is a high goal, high milestone, but it is it's in their range because of their low market cap. So you know, it's a possibility, and uh, you can see right here, they've dipped. So you know, they went down 8%, which is I mean. If you're seeing this video now, it's a good thing because if it's at this price, you know, it's a lower price to buy. You can see its all-time high was about $2.10, which is, comparing to now, of $0.05, cents, which is, you know, a huge, huge increase. If we were to see it literally open the calculator, $2 divided by 0 0.05, you can get 40 tokens instead of paying for one token at the $2 price. So, you know, you can definitely tell that there is some money to make here. And especially with the fear and greed crash right now, if we were to find the fear and greed index, we can see we're sitting on extreme fear of 13 being its lowest of like 8 or something this week or something like that I saw. So, you know, this month is literally when everyone's fearing, uh, everyone says like, uh, like obviously they're fearing because they're scared to buy or sell or whatever because it's bearish like the whole market is bearish there's no money to be made unless if you're looking into the long term run where you can hit the bull market soon and this is one of those instances where i think you know this project could actually exceed because it's a great project and it's it's dipped a lot by eight percent uh and if we were to look in the last 20 uh, 24 hours you can see the highest price was six cents if you were to go to one month we can see 21 cents it was last month and now it's five cents so obviously last month it was fear now it's extreme fear this is like the lowest it could be going and then you know after on it's maybe it's going to be fear or extreme fear or even you know greed soon so that's what we're looking at right here just some information uh, if we scroll down, we can see their exchanges, and you can see they're on Gate.io, Uniswap, and PancakeSwap. So already they've made their way to uh, Gate.io, which is great because it's a huge platform. Uniswap for the Ethereum decentralized exchange transactions, and then PancakeSwap for the BNB exchanges on the decentralized platform. So, so far, looking good. Uh, none of this is financial advice. Always keep that in your head because I'm not a financial advice. You don't take my word for financial advice because I never claim to be a financial advisor and none of my statements are financial advice. So always your own research. But right here, we can see Twitter, 68,000 followers, about to be 69,000 followers. Uh, Realm is a mobile first, play to earn, social impact driven metaverse. As you can see, this is like a screenshot of what it's supposed to look like. Looks pretty cool. Uh, if we keep going down, we can see, you know, they're getting a good amount of likes and uh, retweets and everything. Uh, you know, not not crazy. Definitely might be botted or actually probably botted because at this point, a lot of inst uh, Twitter accounts are already botted. Uh, either mistakenly, well, like it wasn't their intentions to have their Twitter account botted or most of the case they will bot their page followers to look like a bigger project so it's either one of those two you never can't really like justify which one they were trying to do but if we go into here we can see this is right here uh, realm looks great reminds me of roblox because of the character models and the building it looks like you can like a roblox studio or something the characters everything uh, looks e like easy to create games in because if you were to go into Roblox Studio, yes, you do need to know like uh, the Lua C programming language, but if you, you you can just still place models like how they're doing right here. 
Uh, if we go down, we can see portals to infinite possibilities. You can play games and collect rare NFTs, explore immersive art exhibitions, and uh, join events, connect with other players and creators. Uh, as you can see, this is like uh, just a snapshot, I guess, or like something to work with. You can see that's how it's supposed to look like. I'm not sure why it zooms in like that. But if I were to find the right angle, uh, it's supposed to look like that, the game. Um, here we have the same instance, you know, there's like chatting, there's the inventory, on the left there's the menu, I guess. And this definitely does look like Roblox, like a lot like Roblox for the GUI, which is, you know, not a bad thing. It's obviously, Roblox is heading in the right direction with like, I'm pretty sure 1 billion players or profiles created on the game, like over, easily over uh, like 10 to 100 million players daily. So obviously it's not just a small corporation gaming platform it's something that's pretty big uh if we look right here we can see play to own we value every second that you play and reward you with ownership of realm you can import your avatar or other nfts play start playing for free earn realm tokens for participating and inviting your friends and play together for extra rewards if we keep going down, we can see some more screenshots or s snapshots in the background. We can see they're trying to bridge reality. So basically, uh, your actions in their virtual world are designed to make the real world a better place. Become a force for good in the world by playing fun games on your phone and connecting to causes that you care about. Obviously, I don't know how it's bettering our w real world. I'm not sure where they're going with this idea. But... If you go down, we can see plant a tree in realm and we will plant a tree in reality. That, I also, I can't really verify that because that is, you know, obviously if they're going to do that, that would be really hard of a task to like keep up with unless they go and donate the funds to charity for them to do it or something. But obviously they're not going to do it themselves manually. They're not going to hire so many people around the world just to do that or something. Uh, clean plastic in realm, we clean up the oceans, uh, plant corals in realm, we'll restore coral habitats in real life. Obviously, like I said, I can't verify if they're actually going to do this because I'm not in their mind. But we can see their partners right here. Uh, we got like Polygon. I'm not sure if they're partnered by it, meaning that they're going to be working with Polygon to implement their self on the Polygon blockchain. Uh, but seems like it's their partners and you can see right here they're gonna be providing them the blockchain or like best technology uh, you can see Chainlink that's a pretty big uh, platform and project we got Polychain Monsters uh, many people have heard of this and including myself and I'm pretty sure I made a video on it too we got NFT Trade, Gamify, Pokestarter and a few others that we've you probably seen before uh, you can see what they're backed by or their investors, you know, a bunch of people uh, investing or a bunch of platforms investors. Uh, we can see their roadmap right here. Very short roadmap, but, you know, obviously it does the job, I guess. Uh, you can see like phase one, they want to do their realm token launch, which they've already done, obviously, because you can see it's a public token and you can get it yourself. Um, but we're going to go to the more important things like the phase two public game beta on iOS and Android. Obviously, like they said, they want to be on the mobile platforms, uh, like be mainly on the mobile platforms. And then they'll have their game PC launch, as you can see in phase three. They also will have realm starter incubation and staking. And then, yeah, that's the main landing page, but that's not it because we have create where you can create your own world, just like Roblox. Um, this does seem like a Roblox, like a crypto Roblox version, but like I said, nothing's wrong with that. You know, if Roblox is working out, this could work out too. Uh, we look right here, we can see do what you love and make a living out of it. So basically, you can just create your own platform, worlds, whatever. If we were to watch this video, you can see like a bunch of different blocks. This is like some buildings, not buildings, but some models on the bottom and you can see how they're like building the structure or terrain of this world you know very simple all you have to do is just click rotate click rotate size rotate that's all you have to do and honestly it does look like it's working well their game engine i guess is pretty good because you can definitely see how easy it is to build in the the game engine i guess 
Uh, if we look down, we can see build your own realm now, so you can import custom models. Like if you're using Blender and you're a really good 3D modeler or something, or just even a 3D modeler in Blend Blender, you can transport your object files, which is basically the model files, into this metaverse game or whatever game you're developing. And basically, that's it. Yeah, it's now in there, and you can just start using it. You know, it's that simple. You can create your own avatars. Just, uh, you know, a bunch of different things are like, uh, like the Roblox type. Like you can obviously uh, create your own avatars, environments, buildings, and assets. You can import your custom models, just like Roblox. Create stories using Quest Builder. That is something that is gonna make game developing more easier. You can add sound laser layers. To personalize your experience 3d audio engine so you know it's already implemented add functionalities like ticketing and live audio with smart objects so obviously more e easy ease with game developing which is great create games like flying racing swimming with no code so their priority is no programming or no code. Every everyone can do this without learning a new skill set. It's just a bunch of placing, creating models, and everything, which everyone should be able to do if they know how to use their computer. And they got more things, as you can see, like r radical creativity, like this right here. What they created, I don't know what this realm is, but it's just creative, I guess. Low gas NFT minting, trade in crypto or fiat. Uh, bring your creations to life as you can see these are some of the nfts on sale on their platform like this is what it will look like in the future you know it looks pretty cool you got like some models or 3d models that you probably be able to use on your own realm like uh, these ones right here this blade or these swords you can sell your creations so avatars vehicles arts musics items models land anything so you know it's basically like limitless because you can create basically whatever you want to do and make it happen so that's that's realm uh tell me what do you think of realm there's obviously more to it like their team as you can see more like more collective experience with other companies you can see their advisors a bunch of different advisors you got their core team with some of them having their linkedin meaning that they're fully doxed and then you got you know a bunch of core team members and some of them are not docs but obviously like the main people i guess you could say like founder and ceo is docs you got their advisors some having their actual images but it doesn't seem like they have their linkedin because you know obviously not everyone has their linkedin but you can easily check out their twitter if they have one and uh yeah that's realm tell me what do you think of realm hopefully you appreciate this video and learn something new you can also join our twitter and discord server to be a part of our like-minded community and don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel and I'll see you guys later. Peace.